Blessed be Jesus Christ, hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I would like to share with you a short reflection on Saint Teresa Margaret of the Heart of Jesus, a Carmelite nun. Anna Maria Redi was born in Arezzo, Italy on July 15, 1747. She was the second of 13 children, all of whom except the firstborn and the fifth who died as children consecrated themselves to God. Anna Maria had a very happy childhood and was outstanding in her inclination towards piety, desire for sanctity, and the compassion for the poor. When she was nine, she became a boarder in St. Apollonia's College of the Benedictine Nuns of Florence, where she received a religion education from 1756 to 1763. After making a spiritual retreat at the age of 14, she became a lovable, responsible, and affable child. She felt prone to be religious and consider entering Benedictines. After a chance conversation with a friend who was about to enter Carmel, young Anna felt she had a vocation to be a Carmelite. She left college to allow her decision to mature. She entered the discount Camilla nuns in Florence on September 1, 1764. A short while before finishing her postulancy, she had an operation on her knee and left the convent, and now knowing if she would be readmitted. She re-entered and took the habit on March 10, 1765, deciding to live a life of prayer, obedience, and silence. She was professed on March 12, 1766 and took the name of Teresa Margaret of the Heart of Jesus. Naturally high-spirited, she learned to live a life of admirable fidelity right from the beginning. Christ crucified was always in her mind. She proposed in all her actions not to be motivated other than by the love and to unite her will with that of God. She was exquisite in living charity. She was patient in small services to the sisters, especially for the old and the sick. She would not allow gossip or criticism. She exclaimed constantly, God is love. Her life was one of continuous thanksgiving, which would show the goodness and generosity of our loving, merciful God. At the end of her life, she had great ability in prayer, but she tried the best to be faithful, she redoubled her faith, living in abandonment, trusting in God, reciting psalms, biblical phrases, or the expression, God Father. She died on the 7th of March, 1770. Pope Pius XI canonized Saint Teresa Margaret on March 19, 1934. Celebrating the feast of Saint Teresa Margaret of the Heart of Jesus, let us pray that each one of us can imitate her example in the life of prayer, communion with God, in the life of charity for everyone, and in the perseverance of faith in every situation of our life.